Get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime gathering. The legends of Alabama football. 32 of the all-time greats from the 1940s to the 21st century. Six decades of Alabama legends. And you know, like I always remember a play in the Sugar Bowl. We were, we, we were playing Nebraska in the Sugar Bowl in the 1967 Sugar Bowl game. And they were a heavy favorite. They were a much bigger, stronger team than we were. We were number three in the country. I think they were number two or something. And first play of the game, we walk out of the locker room. We're walking onto the field, out of the locker room, down the side of the field. And it had been drizzling rain all weekend long down in New Orleans. And a wet field probably favors Nebraska, a bigger, stronger team, probably ran the ball a little better than we did. And coming out of the locker room, he get right in the corner of the end zone. He'd been drizzling rain all weekend. And I swear to God, he stepped on the field and it quit raining. And so we're walking, it did, it quit raining and we're walking down the sideline. And then later, one of the offensive coaches, Ken Meyer, came over and said he wants you to run 55 sprint out. And Perkins does a little down and out. And it was the first play of the Sugar Bowl. And, and the Perkins catches it and we score six, seven plays later. And for, you know, all practical purposes, the game was probably over. But just the way he phrased things, said things, and it's a hard question to answer when you go around and you travel and somebody says, what's it like playing for Coach Bryant? It's hard to explain that unless you've been around him and see the effect he has on people. Was that the single, even in your pro career, was that the single purest drilling of a human being you ever did? <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, it's the, the hit that I'm most reminded of, uh, you know, by fans. Play action and boom, down he goes. Cornelius Bennett, loose ball, no, the trip calls the fumble. Oh my goodness, did Cornelius Bennett bury him at the 25 yard line? Berline never saw Cornelius Bennett. He was coming from the blind side. Bennett absolutely unloaded on him. It. It's the stories, the lives, the championships, the losses, the coaches, but most of all, the legends talking about their love for the Crimson Tide.